Hey, it's John Claude at High Country PT in Laramie, Wyoming. We're going to go over uh, shoulder packing today in four different situations. So the first one we'll do is talking about rowing movements. So if we were using the TRX or the rings, whenever we're in a row position, an unpacked shoulder will be displaced from the body. Whereas a packed shoulder will be sucked back tight and downward towards my hips not upward towards my shoulders okay we got to keep those shoulders pulled down so if i try to stabilize with one arm a packed shoulder will look straight across for an unpacked shoulder will create a torso that's at an angle so we pack that back in and we can practice some single arm rows to create rotational control or we can work in through the double arm rows into that full pack to the whole position keeping those shoulder blades pulled back again or working on that torso neutral position parallel to the ground and just rowing in and keeping that shoulder packed into that position again unpacked unpacked okay down and tight row torso straight pulling into that position so that's a packed shoulder with rowing if we're doing in the middle of a kettlebell swing we talk about a packed shoulder so i'll have jake come over here and if jake comes out of a kettlebell swing He's got a single arm swing okay he's going to come up and he's going to come out he's going to be a little bit out of position with his shoulder okay let's try that this arm mm -hmm. this okay. so if he's a little out of position with his shoulder is that weight is pulling him forward all i'm going to do is cue him to slightly pull his shoulder blade back with a small amount of force four or five pounds of resistance and that's all it takes to have him keep his shoulder blade in position notice it's downward and he's not upward in a pack position he's down towards his hip shoulder blade is pulled back elbow is straight into that position so that's a pack shoulder and a kettlebell swing if we're coming into a deadlift position if i stand close or my heels are close to the bell and i pull myself all the way back into a good deadlift position an unpacked position with my arms would be reaching for that bell versus my hips pulling me down towards that bell from here my shoulders pack in and down for me to stand up from my hips and they stay there through the duration okay I have to move down lower not let my shoulder blades go which then gives them my thoracic stability that same thoracic stability is needed with overhead squats or pull-ups if the bar is up overhead okay and we're trying to pull and we pull into this forward position like so that's going to contribute to uh, impingement of the shoulder. So we come up, we're pulling down, rotating those arms forward from the shoulder blade as if we're trying to break that bar again. So when we're doing a pull up, again, we're pulling up, shoulder blades stay down. Or an overhead squat, shoulder blades are down, and we're pulling into that downward position, those arms straight through the duration of that pull up. Thank you.